just one thing you turned in your um, your playlist from eleven from module eleven on accident, uh, but that's okay because we can just look at this in Maya. Um, So yeah, this is looking really good. Um, I'm loving the fall on the landing. Uh, I like um, I like this first bit. Um, I'm feeling like the the anticipation isn't quite feeling like it's justifying the leap. Um, and there's also the issue that he accelerates in midair, and I'm really struggling with that. Um, because, and I think it'll be easy to see um, the root. Um, you can see it the the it goes slower and then faster here, so we might see what happens just taking out some of these keyframes and a couple of these and I might leave that I don't know exactly what I'm doing to the file let's sort of see okay now the um, the biggest problem to me is so I think that might have let's go back to the main camera that helped a little bit I think another thing I would suggest is if you can have more of a, a he has a very kind of straight motion here if you can have a little bit more of an arc shape to it, I think that would help make it more believable. So it's, I mean, it, it's mostly just going down, but if there's a bit of an up and down, I think that might help. I think the biggest problem is the, the sort of, he's kind of floating in air here. So he hits the guy in the chest and then he kind of, floats down. What do you have any? I think you need to, partly what you need to do is just speed all that up. Um, so everything after he hits, I think, it's almost like you want to take out, for, yeah, I mean, I would take out a bunch of these frames, first of all. Okay, it's still a soft landing. Oh, what am I doing? Why is it? I'm hitting the wrong button. So, about to here, I might take this and then scale that down to be much faster and then snap those to whole number of keyframes. Oh, that kind of screwed it up a little bit, but it looks okay. And then move this stuff back. Okay, let's look at that through the camera. Better. Now, what I'm not feeling um, is the impact on 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 him very well. So there should be sort of more some more follow through, like if he could kind of you know keep going for keep going forward a bit. And also, it's like 
when he hits, if there could be some sort of, you know, somewhat dramatic overlapping action of the arms, you know, like... Well, it looks like a punch now, but... And also, that the way he kind of gets his legs back to... It's like he's... It's like he's... It's like he never hit anything, you know? He kind of just touches him and floats down. And you want to feel the impact of his body hitting him. So I think there's, like, more of a pose... Um, after he hits that shows you know the impact the kind of the stop um and that is because his body stops abruptly these other limbs kind of jerk forward um you know i've got too many keyframes in here to to really do it and like the head you know anything sort of loose kind of You know, jerks forward. Well, I'm not doing a great job here, but I think you kind of need to clear out some of that and do some poses. It's just, it's not, you might look at some reference too of what it looks like when someone jump kicks someone. Um, that's great. Um, it's just dramatic and then, you know taking a step back I mean you're doing excellent work I mean I'm really impressed with this whole thing it's just the the acceleration in midair and then the lack of a feeling of impact when he ha when he hits the other guy because he doesn't he's not affected by the collision they should both be affected by the collision he should stop and have some overlapping action um, to show that he that the energy sort of transferred from his forward movement of the kick into the resulting guy falling off the edge. So um, I hope that was helpful. Um, I know I didn't necessarily, I think I would have had to delete kind of too much and pose too much and, you know, it would have taken too long to really demonstrate it. But I hope you seem to know what you're doing pretty well. So I hope conceptually you understand what I'm saying. Um, you know, just think of, think of a, you know, a ball rolling across the table and hitting a ball. So one ball standing still and the other ball's rolling. The ball that's rolling and hits the first one itself is going to react. It's going to stop or bounce back even. You know what I mean? So I think you need to show that reaction. But really good work.